visualization tutorial. In this tutorial, we will cover the basics of how to create a visualization of your light display so you can import it into Superstar and sequence your lights. So first, we will launch the Lightarama Visualizer, and then we'll click on File, New, and in this new visualization dialog box, if we'd like, you could click on this little box here to select a picture of your house as the background. Uh, notice that the default location that it opens up to is your Lightarama folder slash visualizations slash editor. But you don't need a picture. For this tutorial, we're just going to use a blank background. So we'll just click on Use Blank Background. And I'm just going to use a width of 1000 and a height of 500. We'll say OK. And now in the Simulation Properties dialog box, I'm just going to set the intensity to 50. And we do that because some of the labels in the visualizer are black and some are white. So to see them both, you need the background to be gray. Okay, so I'm just going to save this as Visualizer Tutorial. You can save it as whatever you would like. Okay, so now we have our, our canvas. If we go up here to the toolbar, um, if you just hover your mouse over these buttons, then little uh, labels pop up telling you what they are. We're going to go over here to Draw Light Strings. And I'm just going to draw the eaves of a house. So I'll just left click, one, left click once, and then left click again. And then we'll double click to finish it. And now we have a new fixture. So I'm going to call it eaves01. Note that I use 01 and not just one. This is a good habit to get into. Uh, if you were to make more than 10 fixtures with the same name, uh, but they end with a number, then this way they'll be listed in numerical order. Okay, so next we're going to go down to Assign Channels and click on this first, any of these boxes here, this uh, first line here. And we're going to call this red. We're going to have red lights. If we click on this box, we can select which color LED, uh, red we would like. And then for device type, it's Lightarama. And network is regular, unit is 1, and circuit is 1. So now if we click OK, now we have little light bulbs, so to speak. So it kind of looks like a light stream. Uh, if you didn't like the way that looked, you can go over here to Fixtures and click on Eaves 1. If you double click on it, the Fixture Properties box comes up again. And you can change the size, spacing, or even the shape of the bulbs that show up. Um, so say I decided to change it to 3, notice there's a preview down here that shows what it looked like. Maybe space into 4, make it more spaced out. So now if I click outside here, hey, now they're bigger and more spaced out. But I liked it better the way it was before, so I'm going to go over here and change the size back to 2 and the spacing back to 2 as well. Okay, so now we're going to make another eaves. Go back up here to draw light strings. We'll click once, click again, and double click to finish it. We're going to make a new fixture, and this time we'll call it Eves02. Um, and this time it's going to be green. Click there and select our green color. The device type is still Lightarama, network is still regular, unit 1, and circuit this time is going to be 2. Um, a note on terminology, we are using the regular network, um, sometimes the terms standard or normal are used instead. So realize that regular network, standard network, and normal network are all words for the same thing. Okay, also, uh, you see this word unit, it could have been a uh, unit ID. Uh, each controller has its own unit ID, so you can think of unit as meaning which controller you're going to plug the light string into. Also, the word circuit refers to the channel of the controller that you will plug the light string into. So when you, when you see circuit, think channel. Okay? It can get a little confusing. Okay, so now we have our green light. Beautiful. Now I'm going to make another eaves here, so we'll click once. We'll make this a little longer. Click again. And double click. And this time it's Eves03. And I want these to be blue. I'll call it blue and select my blue color here. Device type is still Lightarama, regular, unit 1. This time it's circuit or channel 3. 
Okay, and I want this to actually connect down here, so I can just click on E2 and drag this little green box here. Ah, that looks better. Okay, so now we're going to keep going and draw one more eaves on the bottom of eaves 3 here. So we're going to click once and double click. New fixture. We're going to call this eaves 04. And this time it's going to be white. So I'll call it white. And uh, the default color here is white, so I don't need to select that. We're going to do lighter on the device. Still regular one. This time it's circuit or channel 4. Beautiful, we have the eaves of our house. Uh, in most light displays, the lights on the eaves would probably all be the same color, but in this tutorial we made them each different for teaching purposes. Also, we ended up with the channel numbers being the same name as the labels, but we didn't need to do that. You can assign any channel to any fixture. Uh, <clears throat> it's not related at all. But it probably makes sense to leave it that way. Next we're going to draw a window underneath this eaves, so we're going to go up here to draw a light stream again. Click, 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 and double click. We have a new fixture, and this time I'm going to call it window 01. And for this window, I'm going to have four single light strings all around the same window. So I'm going to end up having four channels down here for each color. So the first color is going to be red, and we're going to select the red color. And for the device, we're going to do Lightorama, still the same network, same unit, but this time we're on circuit 5. Okay, and the next color is going to be green. Select our green color, and then Lightorama device, still regular network, still unit 1, this time it's circuit or channel 6. The next color is going to be blue. Select blue. Laterama. This time we're on seven for the circuits. And finally, the last color is going to be white. Remember, that's the default color, so we don't need to select it. And we have still the Laterama device. And this time we're on circuit eight. So we've got five, six, seven, eight all lined up on the same window. So we click OK. And now we see all four colors that we selected around the window. Okay, it drew them as if it was one multicolor light string, but we know it represents four different light strings, each of which is at the same location around the window. Um, so this is just the best way the program could think, or the programmers could think to, to represent that. Next, uh, we want to add another window with the same four color light strings around it, so we can just use copy and paste. So you can just go over here to window 1 and select it in the fixtures list. And go up here and click on the copy button. And then we can click on paste. And now here's our window up here in the corner. So we can just click and drag it to where we want it, right next to this window. And click outside and there's our other window. That was nice and easy. So now all we want to change is we don't want it to be window 01 copy. We want this to be window 02. And we need to change the channels for these four light strings. Okay? So we're going to, instead of being 5, 6, 7, 8, it's going to be 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're going to change 5 to 9, and then 10, and then 11, and finally 12. Okay, so it's the same window, we just needed separate channels for the four new colors. And there we go. So next we're going to make um, some light strings on bushes right in front of the windows. So this could be one of those net lights, or it might be one long string of lights that we weave back and forth in the bushes. But for the sake of the visualization, we just want something that gives a representation of the lights. So I'm just going to draw a line like this. Say click, 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 and double click. Kind of sort of looks like bushes. I'm just going to call it bushes 01. And I want these bushes to be multicolor. Okay, if you notice here, uh, there is no multicolor option here. These are all just single colors. So what we have to do is go down here to special type, and there's multicolor. So we're going to have five different colors here. So right now, uh, they're just all white. 
So if we want to change the color, we just click on it, and now our little color dialog box comes up. And I'm going to select red first, and then green, and then yellow, and then orange, and then purple. Okay. Oh, I forgot. You can set the device type to Laterama still, and this time the circuit is 13, because we've already used 1 through 12. Okay. Now notice uh, it drew a multicolor light string just like it did around the windows, but this string of multicolor lights only uses one channel and is one string of lights. Whereas each window has four strings of lights and each string has its own channel. So if we double clicked over here, right, each window has these four separate colors listed, four separate channels, because they're different light strings. While the bushes is just one light string with multiple colors, so we only have the one channel. Okay? Even though it looks the same. So next we're going to add three more bushes over here underneath this eaves. So I'm just going to click on draw light string again. And I'm going to draw another little box bush. So click, click. Uh, click and double click. So we're going to call this bushes02. And I want this bush to be orange. So I'll select the orange color. Light around the device type. And this time we are on circuit 14. Okay. Now I want another bush that looks just like that. So we can use copy paste again. This time, I, I'm just going to do Control C for copy and Control V for paste. That's the same thing. So I'll do Control C. It's just as if I'd press this button, and then Control V, just as if I'd press this button, the paste button. And now here is our bushes right here in the corner. So I'm going to move this down next to the other bushes. Move it up a little bit, and there we go. We have another copy. We just want to, just like with the window, we want to double click over here and change the name to bushes03. And this time I want uh, these bushes to be yellow. So I'll change this color to yellow. And we need to move it to the next circuit or channel. So it's on channel 15. Okay. And now it's yellow. So we want one more bushes. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to do control C, copy and control V paste and here's the new bushes right here in the corner move it down here and I want to change the name and color like I did before it's going to be bushes bushes 04 whoops 004 secret agent bush and I'm going to go down here and change this I want these bushes to be purple whoops purple and I'll select the purple color. And now we're on circuit 16. It's beautiful, so colorful. All that we're missing is a mega tree. So if we want to make a mega tree, we can go up here and there is a tree wizard button. So if we just click on the tree wizard button, if we click anywhere on our canvas, then the mega tree wizard comes up. So we're going to call it mega tree. We're going to have the base width at 60, and top width at 8, and height at 100. Um, if, if you hadn't launched this wizard before, this might not be editable yet, until you change some of these other properties down here. So just wait a second. So for the type of tree, we're going to do it's a 360 degree tree, and I like it to be counterclockwise. Uh, we're going to have the first bundle location left. And we're going to select the type of channel bundle slash fixtures to be strings edge to center. Okay, and if it's not already there, we're going to drag number of bundles to 8. And density will keep it 1. And if you'd like, you can drag this right here to make it so you can see all the light strings. Or all the uh, bundles in the mega tree. So we'll click OK. And we're going to keep uh, this default thing here, recommended, create a new fixture for every bundle, so we'll click OK. And now in the Prop Properties box that pops up, we can go over here to Fixture Properties, and if you'd like, you could change the size and spacing and shape, uh, but we're just going to keep it at the default. And we're going to go over here to the Wizards tab, and we're going to click on Run Channel Wizard. 
and we're going to use normal channels. So click next, and we're going to say new, next, and we're going to have four repeating channels per fixture. Okay, yours might have been one by default. We're going to change that to four. And if these colors weren't already set, you can just click on these boxes just like we did before. Um, and I'm going to choose red, green, uh, blue, and white. Okay, we'll click next. Our device type is still Lightorama, and we're going to use the legacy addressing mode. Click next, and when it runs out of circuit, we're going to automatically use next unit. Okay, say next. So this is saying where we want to start the first channel um, of all of our fixtures, all of the light strings in our mega tree. So we're going to keep the network at regular, and we've already used all 16 channels or circuits in our first unit, so we're going to have to move up to unit 2 and start over with circuit 1. You say OK. And now, if we click outside here, we can see our mega tree. But we don't want our mega tree on our house. We're going to move it down here between the two bushes. Yay, it's so beautiful. Okay, so if you notice now on props, we've got mega tree listed. And if we go over to fixtures, we can see it automatically made all of these fixtures that make up the mega tree. Uh, if we click on, double click on bundle one, we'll see that it automatically made um, these first four channels on unit two, one through four, with the colors red, green, blue, and white, like we had set. And then it just kept going and said five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then when it ran out on unit 2, it started over with unit 3 and did 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5 through 8, and then 9 through 12, and then 13 through 16. So it did all that for us. So now the last thing we want to make sure to do so we don't lose all of our precious work is to go up here and save. So we can click on this save button here, or you could go to file, save. And now we have a visualization. So the next step is to import this visualization into Superstar so you can sequence the lights. But that's for the next tutorial. So I thank you for your time, and I hope you have a super day.